and in today's video I'm going to talk about uh, Pimsleur French. So this is going to be a review of the five levels of Pimsleur French and essentially what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to answer the three most important questions that I always ask whenever reviewing a language learning product which is uh, <clears throat> first of all is it worth it? Are you going to get fluent using Pimsleur French? Second of all uh, what kind of results can you get if you complete the whole program and how long is it going to take and what is the time investment that you're expected to put in. And the third question is how can you get the best price possible for Pimsleur using discounts, using you know uh, the different plans and <clears throat> I'm going to talk about this last, but the long story short for the last point here about pricing is that I'm going to put a, a link in the description below, which is going to lead you to the the, the least expensive uh, plan for Pimsleur. It's going to set you back about fifteen to twenty dollars a month. I'm going to talk about that at the end of the video. So uh, I'm actually a native French speaker, so I haven't been through the Pimsleur French program. I don't need to, but I use Pimsleur programs for other languages. And so I feel like I have a unique perspective in that sense, in, in the sense that you know I'm a, a native French speaker and at the same time I'm a user of Pimsleur products. So uh, I've learned multiple languages like you know English, I'm talking to you in English right now and this is a language that I have learned uh, using my language learning methods. I have learned uh, Japanese as well, I can have fluent conversations in Japanese and I've tried to learn you know other languages as well like uh, uh, German and Italian and, and I've actually failed at them and this is because I was probably not very serious about them but also because I actually did not use the right methods so I feel like I have a good uh, perspective on which methods work and which uh, don't after years of just language learning. So just a short introduction of what you can expect with Pimsleur French. So Pimsleur French is predominantly an audio-based course. Now uh, what you're going to get are uh, essentially daily lessons. You're going to get, if you buy the whole package, it's uh, five levels. Each level is, um, is 30 lessons and you're supposed to actually do one lesson a day. It's structured in that way and it's important that you do only one lesson a day. Every single lesson uh, is going to last for you know 30 minutes and what you can do and one of the biggest advantages of uh, a Pimsleur is that you can actually fit that learning into your life you know when you're commuting when you're uh, jogging you know working out you can just listen to the lesson and so this is what you can expect every single day for 150 days uh, this is about five months you're going to be listening to your audio lesson you know 30 minutes and that's it now pims are actually give you some extra content like you have a, a smartphone app and a web platform where you can have a bunch of exercises and you know extra content but i personally i personally don't use that i feel like it's kind of a you know like a gift basket kind of thing where they try to uh, give you as as much stuff as possible so to increase the value of the package but uh, I feel like the main content is really the audio content and it you know uh, it's more than enough for the price point that uh, I'm going to show you so this is basically Pimsleur just audio lessons every lesson is based on a conversation between two uh, native French speakers and uh, they're just having a conversation and then progressively you're uh, prompted into you know participating in that in that conversation there is uh, an English speaker who is going to uh, explain sort of some of the concepts behind the conversation and sort of uh, more like a, not really like a teacher just uh, you know saying stuff but really prompting you to um, to get in the conversation and explaining stuff uh, very gradually so the first question Question I'm going to answer is is it worth it does it work you know if you do PIMS or French are you going to become fluent in French and the answer is definitely yes now I need to define fluency here because of course you're not going to be fluent like me like a native speaker for example 
because it's only for 150 days. So um, I'm going to talk about uh, specifically the level that you can achieve in the next question, but let me tell you why it's so uh, effective first. The first reason is uh, spaced repetition. And I've talked about this in some of my other videos, but there are basically two things that you need to look at when evaluating any sort of uh, language learning method. The first thing um, is uh, spaced repetition. Essentially, are you getting enough repetitions of the same items, whether it be you know uh, grammar, vocabulary, uh, you know pronunciation uh, stuff, whatever it is? Are you getting enough repetition of these things to allow you to actually engrave the uh, this uh, information into your memory and enable you to actually use it? And the reason why this repetition needs to be spaced is because spaced repetition so spaced repetition is essentially you have say you're learning one word on day one then you're going to review it on day two and then you're going to review it one week after two weeks after one month two months you see it's, it's just spaced the intervals get bigger and bigger and this has been shown by multiple scientific studies to uh, be uh, the most effective way to uh, learn anything really and there's a lot of research on it I invite you to take a look at uh, you know space repetition it's not only a language learning technique it's just a learning technique that is supported by scientific studies this is very important and Pimsleur do uh, they incorporate this technique into their programs uh, very gracefully so what's going to happen is that you're going to have a lesson every single day you're going to listen to it and the vocabulary the grammar grammatical structures and the pronunciation points that you're going to be exposed to on day one are going to get reviewed on day two and then later on and then later on in a space manner and so what this allows you is to actually retain a very very high percentage of the information that is going to be presented to you in the Pimsleur uh, French program and that is very much unlike a lot of uh, language learning methods like the textbooks for example where you go through information and you feel great you feel like you know your stuff and then when you come back to it a week after two weeks after months after you've forgotten most of the content because you did not get that repetition you did not get that spaced repetition now, the second reason why Pimsleur is so effective, the Pimsleur French program, is because there is a lot of particip participation. So participation is, um, what, I, what I mean by that is that when you have the audio lessons, you're just, you're not going to be listening passively. The, uh, the, the English speaker is going to tell you to repeat. It's, he's going to tell you to uh, uh, say certain things in French that you have learned a few seconds ago he's going to prompt you to participate and this is important because it forces you to actually recall and actually say the things that you want to learn and recall is uh, a very good way to actually remember things remember when I said that there are two things that you need to look at when uh, evaluating uh, language learning methods the first thing is space repetition and the second thing is uh, depth of mental processing this is basically a fancy expression to say you know how well uh, how well are you going to uh, remember the the items that you're learning uh, is the technique appropriate for actually engraving the things in your memory very deeply so if you're just listening to an audio lesson that's a very weak level of uh, a, a very shallow level uh, shallow depth of mental processing if you're doing recall with a lot of participa participation then it forces you to actually produce the words and this has been shown to be a much a uh, deeper level of mental processing than uh, just you know passively listening to a lesson and so this is a good thing you're going to remember your French lessons for a lot longer it's a lot stronger and you actually train your uh, you know your mouth and all of the the muscles in your mouth to actually pronounce French and so this is really good now uh, the third point which I really like about Pimsleur and the reason why it's so effective is because it's audio based so if you don't want to do the exercises on the web platform you don't have to the bulk of the content the main content is the audio content the audio lessons so <clears throat> 
you can just listen to and do the you know the 30 minute uh, lessons every single day and that's basically it and the good thing with this is that you can do it while you're doing something else you know driving cleaning whatever it is so it's not a big commitment let's face it like a lot of people the reason why they're, they're not fluent like they you know maybe they tried to learn French like 10 years ago but they never really got fluent is because they actually did not put the, they did not invest the time in just you know studying the language and that's understandable because a lot of people have most people have jobs and they have you know things they need to do but when with Pimsleur, with Pimsleur French, it's a non-issue because you do not need to actually sit down and study things at a desk. And finally, the uh, the final thing I want to talk about, the final reason why Pimsleur is so great, why it's worth it, is because you're actually focusing on the most important words in the French language. So according to the Pimsleur website, every single level of the Pimsleur program are going is going to present you with about 300 to 500 new words so this means that you know if we cut it in half it's about 400 new words if you do the whole program so the five levels of films or French it's going to be 400 times 5 2,000 new words in French uh, and it's going to be focused mostly around the most common uh, French words so if you take a look at you do some research on the internet you'll find that the 2,000 most important the most uh, common words in any language represent about 90% of the words that you would find in any conversation so what I'm trying to say here is that you need to real realize that you will if you go through the whole program for the, the the five levels when you when uh, after that you hear a conversation in French about 90% of those words you will have learned them through the PEMSOR program so 90% it's a lot you're not going to be you know like a native speaker but 90% 90% of the words it's a very very good starting point you can actually understand a lot you can actually talk about a lot of things Okay, so now let's let me talk about the second question, which is uh, what kind of results can you expect, and what is the time investment? I've al I've already touched on those things a little bit, but essentially uh, the level that you're going to get. So I, I already said it. A lot of grammatical points. You're it, it is going to cover all of the basic grammatical points of the French language, not in an explicit way where they're going to say, okay, you know, uh, subject plus verb plus you know blah blah blah. It's going to be more uh, like an intuitive uh, learning. So through the conversations. All Always repeating the same patterns you will have an intuitive feel for those grammatical points <clears throat> now um, as I said uh, the number of words very important when you learn a language like the number one reason why people do not understand the language they, they, they learn is because they don't know the words as simple as that so you will know about 2,000 words at the end of the program meaning about 90% of all uh, spoken conversations now it's a it's a little different with uh, you know like uh, French novels and stuff like that because the vocabulary um, sort of frequency is a lot different there are a lot more different uh, more complicated words uh, in French novels so you know you're not going to be as good for uh, reading novels at reading novels when compared to having conversations but if your goal is to have conversations in French I mean Pimsleur really is the way to go it's going to to get you to from zero to understanding 90% of the you know conversations in French in 150 days so five months without ever actually sitting down at a desk and studying in a, in a textbook so uh, you know 2,000 words is is going to get you to about the, um, the um, you know the B1 level so B1 it's the European sort of framework of reference for uh, you know language levels B1 is actually pretty good you can have conversations with native speakers okay you're not going to be talking about politics or you know scientific stuff but you can have very good conversations with native speakers you can go to france you can go to canada and uh, get around uh, with what you have learned in pimsleur 
Okay, so now just as a personal note, I, you know, I've gone through the, the, the French school system because it's my native language and I have noticed that, you know, most, um, so French people who learn English, so it's basically all of them, they learn English for about seven years. Now it's, it's more than that because they start earlier, but back in my time, it was, we did seven years of English, you know, from the age of 11 to 18. And a lot of people uh, get to the end of the seven years and they don't have a B1 level. They don't have a B1 level in English. They don't really understand much. They certainly cannot speak. And I guess French people are notorious for not being good at languages. But I think you probably have that experience as well. If you grew up, I don't know, in, in America, for example, I know a lot of people take Spanish. You study Spanish for I don't know how many years. How many people get to the end of this and they can actually speak you know, good Spanish or even decent Spanish? Not a lot of people. With Pimsleur, my experience has been and what I'm seeing from my you know, many years of trying out many different methods is that in a very compressed amount of time, uh, in just five months, you don't need to uh, invest a lot of time uh, in because it's you know passive learning you're just listening and participating a little bit you're going to get to a level which is higher than what most people get after seven years of schooling learning English with a teacher and I'm not kidding you here I don't know I mean it's it's kind of ridiculous uh, saying this but it's true you will get to a better level than most people uh, who went through uh, school all right, so now I'm going to talk about the the last point here, which is how do you get the best price possible for uh, Pimsleur? And so essentially, if you go on the Pimsleur website, you're going to be shocked at how much the, the programs actually cost. For Pimsleur French, I think for the five levels, you purchase the audio lessons, it's going to be about $575. Yeah, $575. Super, super expensive. Now you need to understand that this is actually uh, the price for like getting access to the, like lifetime access to the audio lessons and there are other ways that you can use to pay much less but it's not really advertised on the website. So uh, you know even at that price point let, let's say that right now uh, you know you have a lot of money and you spend the $575 for the five levels of Pimsleur French. In my personal opinion it's actually a much better investment than you know going to whatever college and taking a college course uh, on you know the French language. You're going to get to a better a place, a better level with Pimsleur than uh, going to a college, taking a university course. I'm sorry, by the way, if there's a lot of background noise. It's started raining pretty heavily here. But anyway, so even at a, at that price point, I feel like it's a pretty good investment. Now, if you don't want to do that and you don't need to pay that amount of money because I'm going to tell you that there's a link in the description of this video which is going to allow you to go on the Pinsler website on the page that is not accessible, that is going to enable you to actually get uh, on their uh, subscription plan which is going to be about $15 to $20 uh, monthly, I guess it depends on when you watch this video, but that's about the price point and you will get access to uh, Pinsler French it's a subscription, so uh, if you don't pay, you will not get access to uh, the lessons anymore. You don't have them for you as just a, you know, just a subscription plan. But in my opinion, this is not an issue. I mean, you don't need to go back on the lessons once you've uh, you've done them because you know that's that's how it's supposed to be done. You're already going to remember everything. So there you go. It's going to be about 15 to $20. I don't remember exactly. Just click the link in the description. I think you can actually pay a little extra, like $1 extra to get access to all of the languages in the Pimsleur collection if you want to learn multiple languages at once. So that's basically it for this uh, Pimsleur French review. So I'm going to turn off my camera and upload this to YouTube and let me know if you like uh, Pimsleur French.